So it looks like Rockstar could have put images of Grand Theft Auto 6 in the latest GTA Online update. That's what we're going to be diving into in this video today. And this has been gaining a lot of traction online over the last couple of days and hours. And in order to check this out for yourself, and you can actually follow along with me to see what you guys might think of this entire thing, go ahead and head on over to a clothing store and then go over to tops and look for party shirts. Now, party shirts are not new, but Rockstar did add a handful of new ones with the Criminal Enterprises DLC update. So head down there, and what you wanna look for is the white Bigness Revere collar, and there's also a black version too. And you can see it's this shirt with a bunch of monotone photographs on there. And I think a handful of these are from Grand Theft Auto V. Like for example, one of them, actually looks like you're aiming down the street with a sniper rifle. That's kind of the one where you can see the reticle in the middle. The other one looks like you're in first person mode and you've actually picked up a lady of the night. It also looks like she's flicking someone off, which is quite interesting. The one picture in particular that seems to have a lot of fans wondering, could this be from Grand Theft Auto 6, is the one that looks like it's an amusement park. So imagine you're the one wearing the shirt. The most clear image would be on the right side of their chest. And that's what we're looking at right here. Now this is where fans have decided to discuss, is this from Grand Theft Auto 6? Because in Grand Theft Auto 5, I only know one spot where there's a roller coaster and that's Del Perro Pier. And it doesn't look like that's anywhere near the Del Perro Pier because there's also no trees on the Del Perro Pier. It's in the middle of the ocean. So this doesn't look like it's anywhere in Los Santos or anywhere in GTA 5 or Grand Theft Auto Online. And one thing that a lot of players are pointing out is the clouds as well. And we'll actually reference that to something else Rockstar put in the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, the Definitive Edition. It looks like it could be an updated version of the game engine that they use. So a lot of people believe that Rockstar could just be casually slipping in Grand Theft Auto 6 screenshots in in-game stuff that we can actually buy. How wild would that be? Now, this would not be the first instance in which players actually suspect this. Remember when Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the Definitive Edition, released? There was actually a location in-game in Bone County. It's called the Lil Probe Inn, and it features a wall of in-game pictures, and all of them are from Grand Theft Auto V, except for this one picture right here which very much looks like it's from a Florida suburban neighborhood. We know that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to take place in fictional Miami, which is Vice City, and that image also looked like it was a new Rockstar Games engine. It didn't look like anything we had in Red Dead Redemption 2. It didn't look like anything we had in GTA 5. And the one thing you could notice was the clouds were particularly different. That was the thing that sort of set it apart from everything else. And even though the screenshot is tiny because it's just a small picture on an in-game shirt, you can kind of tell that the clouds are a little bit different here. So I wonder if this is Rockstar's way of just casually sliding in GTA 6 stuff without telling us. And this also lines up with what we saw in the Lil Pro bin in GTA San Andreas, the definitive edition. Most of the images are either from GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2, but there's one specific one that does not match up. So I wonder if this is Rockstar truly trying to give us our first official look at GTA 6, or I should say our first official look at GTA 6 in Grand Theft Auto 5. And this wouldn't be the first time that they've done something like this. Remember in Max Payne 3, you can actually find straight up images of the vehicles that appeared in GTA 5. You can also find tons of other references where Rockstar have put assets from future games in current titles. Now, whether they're doing that on purpose or something slipped through the cracks, I don't know, or if this is just an employee going rogue and basically just trying to release something from GTA 6 without calling it, hey, we're releasing something from GTA 6, I think that's what we honestly could be looking at here. Now, this would not be the first time that Rockstar employees have either gone rogue or have simply just revealed information. I mean, just take a look at the Bloomberg report from Jason Schreer that came out a couple of weeks ago. The only reason we know about that 
is because of insider sources and people familiar with GTA 6 that are willing to reveal it to certain journalists like Jason Schreer. So stuff like this happens where rogue Rockstar employees or people that are either fed up or not comfortable with what's going on, they reveal information. They break a non-disclosure agreement, and that's how we get information like that. So maybe this could be a way of them breaking a non-disclosure agreement without actually saying they broke a non-disclosure agreement because it was just an asset that slipped into the files of the game and made its way onto a t-shirt. Now just speculating a little bit here, since we know Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to take place in Vice City and its surrounding areas, which is going to be Miami, Florida and its surrounding areas, you're going to see a lot of roller coasters. I mean, just think of Disney World in Orlando. Think of all the other theme parks that are located throughout the state. Florida has a ton of them. So I think it's very clear that Rockstar is probably going to try and replicate the world as close to like to like as they can. So seeing Disney World in the game or whatever they call it, Fred's Land or Fred's World or Quincyville, whatever the fictional parody they have of Disney in game. I think this is something that easily could be included and having it being surrounded by trees because it's in Florida, it's not on a pier overlooking the ocean like we see in Los Santos, that could very much make sense. The only other thing I could possibly think of is maybe this is from Bully from what I remember. I know there's like a carnival or a theme park there that I think has a roller coaster, but it still doesn't look like the one we saw in this picture right here. The only other thing that would be useful is if we were able to access these shirts in the in-game files and hopefully we'd be able to blow them up and see them at a much larger size because once they make their way into Grand Theft Auto Online, there's obviously a lot of compression that occurs. We have to deal with the fact that they're shirts so they're wrapped around our character so we can't examine them all that closely. So if there is any more follow-up to this, I'll definitely let you know. Uh, that would probably be the only way in which we could determine or not whether this is truly GTA 6. But obviously, take everything we're discussing today with a grain of salt because this is not a confirmation in any way, shape, or form. It's just a bunch of people in the Rockstar community that this has caught their eye. They've been looking at it and saying like, you know what? This is actually kind of interesting here and it doesn't look like this is from GTA 5 and it kind of backs up what Rockstar did in San Andreas the Definitive Edition. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send messages, photos, videos, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.